Yeah. You know what that makes? I guess. So I really wish I could use the lethal guns in non-lethal capacities, like just shooting the. Bad news, spy boy. Spy boy. Yeah, it's, it's video game Oh, I can't go into the chat they all moved into. I don't like that. I suppose you can't just ignore them. Oh. Yeah, right. Chinese government. I've got to comply. Bravo, Echo, Echo, I guess Zero, 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 Zero,
Okay, so the wind's apparently not knocking me, uh, Kyrlings around, so I think the power might be Don't alive. be a sitting duck. Maybe, maybe not. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you know it. So get out of here, Jensen. Senior alert system is for, is for the uh, for some reason senior citizens that go that go missing for one reason or another. I'm assuming this also includes uh, Alzheimer's uh, uh, sufferers that, that for some reason decide to walk out of the out of their home or something like that and just wander somewhere out of the, out of the streets. I'll stay and cover you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Doctor Savchenko. I'll be fine. You'll be a sitting duck. Maybe, maybe not. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you know it. Jensen. Well, I kept her alive for a bit longer than usual. Uh, but yeah, you're probably right. It'll, if it'll just explode, at least I'm going to see what I can do. I need to explore this. Now it's scripted. I'll stay and cover you. I got to the point where the, where the um, where, where a, uh, a mech was airdropped into, into the area. You'll be a sitting no duck. Joke. Maybe, maybe not. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you know it. So get out of here, Jensen. I'll stay and cover you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Dr. Savchenko. I'll be fine. You'll be a sitting duck. Maybe, maybe not. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you know it. So get out of here, Jensen. I'll stay and cover you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Dr. Savchenko. Oh, well, they left around a time while someone having to kill gun. people in the maybe, job. Maybe that not. was it. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you know it. So get out of here, Jensen. Talk for having to take some of life. That's a scary thought. That's a pretty fucked up thing. Um, there was a guy who worked at one of the casinos I was posted at for a little while who came very close to having to pull his weapon because somebody walked into the convenience store that the casino is attached to and cover you. beat you need to the uh, clerk over the head be with a, a fire hydrant maybe, maybe not. not a fire, uh, fire extinguisher the and then carried the fire extinguisher out of the store and over to the outdoor the front entrance of the casino was trying to walk in with this bloody fire extinguisher and the guard like just stood there in the doorway and said, "If you take one more step, I'm going to shoot you." He took him a few moments. He thought it over, and then he dropped it down and walked away. Holy crap! Is that an enemy chopper that comes in? Yes. Crap. I see this. The idea of taking a life is kind of like one of the other reasons why I have, why it's I haven't really. I'll put a lot of thought into, into uh, enlisting. You need to get away from it's something I'm not sure if I can live with myself if I, if I ever have to kill You'll someone be a sick there. duck. Maybe. Uh, I'll tell you one thing about enlisting. Either go the route that Meth is going and become an officer, or don't enlist at all. Because if you become a non-commissioned officer, your future outside of the military is pretty much shit. 
Yeah. There's a lot. We get a, we get a lot of these fucking ex-military guys in security, and you really, really have so little of a future outside of it. Yeah, it's, um, I'm told that, that, um, military careers, it's, it really comes down to your mileage may vary. Yeah. All comes down to what you did and what rank you were and everything. You really gotta do like like what Meth is doing and make a career out of it. You have to become an officer and find some position in the military where they'll keep you and stay in it for as long as possible. Otherwise, it's not worth the time or the effort. It's not worth the future. Yeah. It's um the Air Force is probably is one that a lot of my folks tell me I'm not looking to career like that. Air Force is good because you can take your knowledge of the years and you can make something of it and actually do pretty well with it. Yeah. Because they will train you to do things much bigger and more uh, complex than the kind of computer shit that you or I would do outside of the military. Of course, the only thing though is um, I I know very little people that that would that um would be um a good ideal candidate for a uh, security clearance. I don't talk to a lot of people that often. There are very few people I actually trust. You need to get away from here and find Doctor Savchenko. I don't know anything about that. I'm not sure that's gonna work out either. It's, uh, I, I really don't know how security you know clearances work out. I was um. Well, how old are you? 19. Well, you're still pretty young. You could probably go for the ROTC. Yeah, it's just like the uh, current campus I'm at doesn't offer any ROTC programs. Hmm, that sucks. You'd have to go Air Force officer or career. You'd have to, you know, really get into it, not just do, you know, the two or three year program, get your GI Bill, and go say fuck it, because that's where you get screwed over. Yeah. Because I used to hear so many stories, you know, back during the Iraq War of GIs who were coming home, not getting nearly as much as they were promised on the GI Bill. It's, fun, it's funny, really, the people that give their give their lives out, their, their lives out on the service like that, and the ones that screwed, screwed over. This exactly is the truth. Those are the ones who get fucked, and that's why it's it's really only a good idea to do it if you're going into it for a military career. Otherwise, you're fucked. Or if your life's going down to shit, and there's really no no way to recover from it. Yeah. Even then, you know, <clears throat> could always go to an oil town and become a uh, rigger or a boat hand. Negative. Those guys get paid you a need lot. To get away from here and find Dr. <laughs> At least from what I heard anyways. Don't be a sitting duck. Um, maybe, maybe the company that I am contracted to right now, I worked there for a different guard company five years ago, and some of their starting deckhands on their little crew boats, which are the very tiny little fast-moving boats, which are a real bitch to be on out at sea. But you can start off at a hundred to two two hundred dollars per day. Shit. Yeah, man. They had these motherfuckers who were come, who were driving I'll Mercedes, man. Negative. Mercedes convertibles. And go in like going out and getting, going out and getting laid duck. and fucking chicks maybe, and then coming back to the boat drunk as fuck because the captain didn't give a shit. And they were just sitting in dock for weeks at a time. So they get paid. They get paid a shit ton for playing rats and ass dead end job. That's the best life. <laughs> it's not really rats in dead end, rat, uh, because you can make it up to captain. Well, I mean, on the aspect that you're working a, 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 um, a job where the work itself is shitty, not not the pay. At least I can imagine it'd be I'll shit. I'll cover you. Negative. You well, you're a deckhand. You're the bitch of the boat. Don't be a sitting you're doing all the shit maybe, that the captain and his hands and the people above you weren't going to fucking do. You know it. Which is so basically here, mopping and cleaning and um, doing laundry. That's pretty good. Thing to do, actually. Well, you work on and off. I mean, you might get 14 days off, 7 days on. Uh, 14 days on, 7 days off. Alright, oh my, that's a trade off that probably says. But you know, you make it up to captain. A uh, buddy of mine, he's a captain now. He was, he spent like four months in Brazil, and he makes 350, maybe more a day. Hmm. But there's also this captain of this um, international boat that we actually had moored because of um, legal issues. That they, it had the wrong flag that it was um, supposed to be. Like a boat, you can own a boat, say you run a company, an offshore company, and your company is based in, say, I don't know, Louisiana. 
but one of your boats is based out of, say, Amsterdam. 